the IECC has four requirements for lighting system controls. The first requirement is independent lighting controls for spaces surrounded by floor-to-ceiling partitions. Each space shall have at least one control to turn the lights on and off. Lighting for means of egress is exempted from this requirement. The second requirement is for light reduction controls that reduce connected lights by at least 50%. This can be accomplished several ways, including switching every other fixture or switching the middle lamps of a fixture independently of the outer bulbs. An occupancy sensor can also be installed instead of manual switches to meet the requirement. The third requirement is for separate switching in daylight zones. Daylight zones are areas under skylights or adjacent to vertical fenestration. For example, the area within 15 feet of a window and 2 feet to each side. This space will need an independent manual lighting control to turn off unneeded electrical lighting. In this building, the lighting program also includes automatic sensors, which override the lighting when there's adequate daylight. The final requirement is for interior lighting to be automatically shut off either by schedule, by occupancy sensor, or from another signal or alarm system indicating the building is unoccupied. Verify that the automatic lighting controls that are installed in the building are shown on the approved lighting plans. Examples of the types of controls may include an energy management system, lighting control systems, or an occupancy sensor.